Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact Good morning Hey guys, how y'all doing? I am gonna go ahead and get ready to go on the road today so I'm thinking that I'm going to take y'all with me. Um, so I'm going to go get ready now. I already got out of bed, tidied my room, and did everything that I needed to do. Um, I just need to go shower, wash my face. I already brushed my teeth. I already washed my face too, but I'm going to wash my face again because I'm going to shower. So each time I shower, I wash my face. So. Um, yeah, so that's where we're going to get started today. Okay, yeah, so I am back. And I just realized that in the middle of, you know, filming that I didn't do an intro for this video. So here goes my intro. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Orfea and we're back with another video. <laughs> this video is like a day in my life kind of type of shitty shitty shit 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 shit. Um, so yeah, that's what we about to do. I'm about to go shopping and get some stuff done. Um, just go food shopping. I was going to do a lot more, but then... I did this whole binge shopping on um, Amazon, so yeah, I don't think I need to go out and purchase anything when I already binge shop on Amazon, which is kind of weird because um, I have a video that's I'm I think I'm gonna put this video up before this one. It's a um, it's basically get ready for bed with me or you know a get ready for me routine and. Um, bed or night trip or whatever because I didn't really go to bed I just went and did the whole night shift I'm putting on primer so in case you're wondering I'm putting on my primer and a little bit goes a long way um, yeah so Like I was saying, I went bin shopping, so I don't think I need to buy a lot more stuff. So I just need to get me some food. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get me some food, um, some groceries for the house, and then come back and start working. Um, I went to bed like 1, I went to bed at 1, 1 a.m. this morning, Eastern Standard Time. I went to bed at 1, and then I woke up back. I, I had to wake up at 6 because I had to get my son um, basically out the door for school and so I got up at 6 for that after I went to bed and it's been like it's been my routine so I've been hella tired and um, I'm just trying to cope with it but besides that for me which I spoke about on the other vlog that's supposed to come out before this one um i video i recorded it already obviously and i just haven't edited my video yet which is weird because sometimes i um sometimes i record videos like i would have a bunch of videos recorded and never post them i just end up deleting them because for some reason i don't like it anymore so i just delete it so yeah, that's where sometimes I guess I understand now what a lot of YouTubers talk about when they say, you know, oh, I didn't like the video, um, so I deleted it. Da 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 da. Um, I guess now I understand because it happened to me a lot of times where I be making the videos, I be talking in them, and some of them aren't important shit. But then I feel like you know it, it's probably not all that relevant, so I don't post it which is one reason why the engagement is so you know freaking important the engagement is not what really um is not what stops you from growing really you can you can grow as long as you have people who like your thing and you know subscribe um once youtube see that they they push you out there um, people keep subscribing people keep watching and 
if there's no engagement on the video, that's fine. But the engagement is really is really for the creator, so the creator can know um, what to produce more of, you know. So I don't really. Sometimes I'm in limbo. <laughs> Sometimes I'm in limbo as it relates to what to put out there next. Um, so I go on, I do a little, you know, rant about something I feel is important. And then I don't think it's important anymore, so I delete it. So I don't know. Maybe y'all are missing out on some really good shit because I've been, you know, de deleting shit. I don't know. I really don't know. So uh, hopefully I post that video last night, but yeah, this month, the month of June is a really, really freaking sucky month for me as it relates to um, Cami for the entire month, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> don't laugh, don't laugh. I'm going to tell you for the entire month of June, I made $250. For the entire month of June on Cami. I mean, two hundred and fifty dollars. Now I am grateful because at the end of the day, I could have, I could have done. It could have been worse. It, 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 it could have been worse. It could have been nothing. It could have been nothing. It could have been fifty bucks. It could have been, it could have been fifty bucks. It could have been nothing. It could have been absolutely zero, nothing. So I am definitely grateful that I was able to make at least my grocery money for the month. <laughs> Cause that's what my grocery cost for the month with all the shit I be buying. Um so it could have been a lot worse, but I'm being completely transparent with y'all. This is the thing about me. I don't think I don't I don't believe that it's in my best interest to lie about what I make and what I already did. I made 250 US dollars this month, which is like 30 something thousand Jamaican dollars. I think 36, 37 thousand Jamaican dollars. Which, listen carefully, because I realize people be skipping over that. I made 36, 37, they're about Jamaican dollars for the month, which is absolutely shit. Um, which is 250 US dollars. I made 250 US dollars for the month. And that translates to that in Jamaican dollars. To 30,000 Jamaican dollars, which is basically my grocery for the month. A little under my grocery for the month. Yeah, so, but the good thing about it is I have a really great feeling about the it's now the 23rd it's now the 23rd so i have a really good wait is it the 20 no it's the 24th um so i have a really great feeling about the rest of the month oh in case you're wondering what i'm wearing i'm just i just threw on this little top and some leggings or tights whatever the fuck you call it in your country um it's nothing spectacular. I will, if I do take a picture of it, I will post it um, so you can see it right here. But, but if I don't, I don't. So that means I didn't take no picture. So don't hold me to that. It's not a must. Yep. So yeah, that's that's basically me in a nutshell for this month um and as it relates to me putting out videos one cam model asked me to do like a cam tip for existing models and another and the the same person asked me like she wants to do coaching for you know dirty talk um to like how to dirty talk properly and I'll give you all a little hint right now as it relates to dirty talk dirty talk you'll be on there and a dude just be like talk dirty to me right and to them it's fairly easy to do because they're like oh all you got to do is just say some shit 
but nah like yeah i can say some shit but that shit probably don't apply to you it doesn't it's not something that entices you it's not something that you know you can relate to sexually so you won't enjoy my dirty talk so what i would normally do if someone asks for dirty talk especially if it's a new customer if it's one of my og customers then i already know what they want because i already had a feel for them and i know what they like i know if they like the girl next door or the naughty school teacher or whatever persona it is i already have an idea of what they like so for that i'm looking in my mirror so for that, it's fairly easy to step into the persona that they like and just do what you got to do. But if it's a brand new person, you've never met this person before, it's high, whatever, and they're like, oh, talk dirty to me, then you need to be like, well, baby, what do you like? What do you like? You need to ask them to like set the stage for you, set the scene for you, you know? And that also helps to drag on your time because I'm per minute, my charge is per minute. So that helps to drag on the time and make it, you know, make it last a lot longer when they have to tell you what they want if you don't already know them. I have one customer, he's an OG, but he likes to switch it up. And what he would do, he would message me in free chat and be like are you free and I'm like yeah baby I'm free and then he's like oh can you be this for me today and I'm like you know I can be whatever you want and then he'll come in so he just basically tells me the persona he wants me to to take on for that particular chat but not everybody's like that you just have some people who jump in once to nut and um just expect you to just start you know because it's what you do but I can't start because I don't know you. I need to know more about you. I need to know, you know, what you like as it relates to the type of talk that I would deliver. So that's one thing to bear in mind. And once you have, um, once you have an understanding of the persona that is to be used, then the next step is basically to set your mindset into that persona and the next step is to step into that character it's acting that's what it is at the end of the day it's acting it's becoming that person it's embodying that fantasy and becoming that fantasy that's what it is so then the rest of it after that it's purely mental so that's my little two cent tip on um on basically dirty talk just know that everybody's different and don't be afraid to ask your customers what they like because only they know what they like until they become your regular or if it's not even say a regular somebody who visited you more than once or twice So don't be afraid to be like, what do you like? What do you want? Because you're just fulfilling a need right there. So it's not something to be ashamed of or be afraid of. Everybody has issues when it comes to dirty talking. No one is... Um, some people, you have some people who would just jump in and start saying shit and then the customer just gets into it and start, you know, doing his thing, you know, getting aroused, getting his kicks off, whatever it is this person is saying and doing with her face, lips, and mouth, whatever, you know, but, um, I need to dust this off, but for the most part of it, for those of you who wants to basically tailor your chat for this particular person then you definitely gotta ask what is it you like don't be afraid to it's not there's no shame in the game in asking it's how you ask that's the, that's the thing i think i knotted this too tight i've been rocking my natural hair for a while now Yeah.
that's it. I believe I'm ready. Y'all, I'm not a makeup guru, so I don't want nobody coming at me talking about, oh, blah, 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 blah. I do what works for me. I do what works for me, and I suggest you do what works for you, because I am not about to go do cosmetology just so I can apply some makeup for a YouTube video, which my channel is not about. Because I know people like to make a lot of um, insignificant and irrelevant. That's the word that I'm looking for. Irrelevant um, observation or correction. A lot of like, give me a a, a, a correction on you know what I said about Cam because that's what my my thing is about. Um, give me your observation if I ask you for it. Give me your opinion if I ask you for it. Um, give me your opinion as it relates to a camming topic that I talk on. But, um, well, really, to be honest with you, I don't even care what you put down because that's like engagement anyways. So I don't even give a fuck what you type. Just know that the only one that gets truly recognized and truly felt is the ones that I deem to be relevant to the channel and channel topic. So, that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. I need to get my socks and put my socks on and get out this door because guess what, baby? I need to be back. Don't mind my shit back there. That's all my shit when I have to do my project for my son. Um, those are all like my books and shit. And when I have to do projects for my son. Because um, I go all out. I'm that extra person when it comes to doing and completing projects. It has to look damn near realistic. <laughs> yeah, that's the type of person I am. I'm a Virgo bitch. What you expect from a Virgo? A Virgo is perfectionist. A Virgo try to perfect the art of everything that they do. So, if it's cooking, if it's cleaning, if it's being messy, they're going to perfect that shit. So, if you find yourself a Virgo that is messy, then know you find you're the best messy person ever. <laughs> know that. And if you find a Virgo person that is all about cleansiness, just know you found the best you know, the best at that shit. You found the monk. That's what you don't found. The monk. Yeah. But if you find a messy Virgo, you find a hoarder. You find the world's biggest hoarder. That's what you found. So, yeah. So my arts and crafts thingy for my son. So I'm gonna, I put my socks on. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and get out the door. Like I said, don't quote me on me sending you this picture because I may know it. I may know it. I just may know it. I don't know. I need to spread myself. I can't be smelling like <gasps> boo boo stinky out there. Even though I put on my deodorant. My deodorantizer. I can't be smelling like boo boo stinky. I need to smell good. Oh. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm dead. I'm done. Okay, so I'm getting out. So see y'all on the flip side, which is the store side, because I'm going shopping for some food. <laughs> yeah, so I just got done shopping. I forgot to record everything. I was vibing out to some music. and. Uh, I just didn't care to record anymore. I was just, I was listening to Ragging Key, and that's where it ended. I was vibing. So, I'm done shopping. I'm out. I'm waiting on my dress to come and get me. I'm going to show you right quick what I got. I didn't get much. I'll probably do a little haul when I get home. I don't know. But, yeah. I completely forgot. I forgot about y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's it. That's all I can say. So. <laughs> Hey guys, 
guys so i am home the lighting is it's a lot let me just pull this here yeah so i am home and um i'm just gonna show you what i got so bear with me with the whole lighting situation so um like i said i forgot to basically um vlog while i was shopping i forgot to to vlog because I was vibing out to some music and just was in my own zone so I forgot so let me just quickly show you what I got and then get ready for work okay so I got me some boxes here and in this first box I got me milk these mangoes I got, um, these mangoes I got when somebody picked some mangoes and I asked them, so they get, they got me some, they gave me some mangoes, so that's how I got it. Hold on. Yeah, so that's how I came by the mangoes. So, okay, back to what's in my bag. So, I got me some milk. I got me some eggs. Like I said, mangoes I got at the um, store. Let me just put this up as I'm telling you what they are. I got me some tang. I some of these. And I got me some chocolate, you know, things. Hot chocolate mix. I got me six of those. And I got me some coconut powder. I'm Jamaican, you know we all cook with coconut powder. I got me some mashed potatoes because I'm gonna be um my son is not gonna be here as it's about to be the holiday. I got me some corned beef and sausage. I got me a little packet of rice because I already got me a bucket of rice and I'm kind of tired of rice, so and it's like I said, it's just gonna be me. Um, my son is gonna go to his grandma for the holidays, so I just got me enough stuff to sustain me. I got me some noodles. Um, I love this macaroni and cheese by Kraft. I was gonna get me three, but then I'm like, oh, you're gonna go shopping by mid next month, so why buy so many things? Got me some ramen noodles. This is not the one that I love. Oh, yeah, it is the one that I love. Oh, shit. So I got me some noodles. It is the one that I love. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so kudos to that. I got me six of them. It's just not the flavor that I am loving now. And then I got me a bottle of ketchup and some chiffon margarine butter. got me a bread I hate getting my bread squished so I like to keep it you know so the form is kept because I don't want to squish my bread um, shoot. my other box so I got me some carrots and some lettuce lettuce And I really do need to give my fridge a good cleaning, so I'm not gonna show you things on my fridge because it really needs a good cleaning. I got me some hot peppers because I love hot peppers, um, cabbage, onions. I got me cheese. And then to my frozen stuff, I got me this rainforest, um, Fruit mix, fruit blend mix. That's so I can make me some fruit. I got me some true juice orange juice. I love me some true juice orange juice. This orange juice is the bomb diggity.com. This is the best orange juice ever made. True juice, if your if your sales go up um, after people start 
watching this video, you better sponsor me. Um, I got me some more cheese. Cheese again. Got me some more cheese. Because I'm, I'm going to be making some really cheesy dishes. So I got to have cheese. Besides, I love cheese, so. Then I got me some ground beef. I didn't buy any beef because I have beef already. Then I got me some chicken leg. I got me some chicken leg from Best Dress and I got me some boneless chicken thigh. The boneless chicken thigh, I either get boneless chicken thigh or chicken breast depending on what I'm in the mood for or the texture of the meat that I want. But I love really the leg and the thigh part of the meat. But I got me the boneless thigh portion so that you know I can take one thigh piece meat piece out at a time to make whatever dish because like I said it's just gonna be me so I don't even want it now I was gonna buy me some chicken breast same size but I didn't I left it and said I'll do that next time I got me some chicken nuggets and I got me a packet of fries a lot of shit here from 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 rainforest rainforest y'all better sponsor me too um Again, fish sticks, rainforest again, and some shrimp. You would think this fucking video is sponsored by rainforest. It's not, right? This is just what I like. I got me some hamburger meat. Some frankfurters and some smoked bacon. Smirky bacon, some shit like that. I don't know. I think this is turkey bacon. Oh, starkey bacon. Forgive me. So, um,. Yes, yeah, so I got me some bacon. This one is from Grace. And so is the Frankfurters. But this, again, rainforest. So my, fr this, my freezer is pretty stacked. Um, I'm struggling to have everything hold in my freezer. But I did it. It did. And that ends my progressive haul. Um, as to what I got today um, at the supermarket. So it's after three. I'm either going to blend me some smoothie or I'm, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a glass of orange juice and then I'm going to go work. But I need to get me something to eat. So I'm probably going to make me um, some noodles. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make me some noodles and... So be back. Hey guys, so I already had me more than half of it. So I'm having me some mangoes with salt. Some people add pepper to it, but with this particular mango, I had added salt. Um, if it was the other type of mango that I usually love eating, I don't add anything to it because the natural flavor and juices is just so good. But this one, I had to add a little something to it so I can like it. So, um... I'm going to go ahead. I decided to have mangoes and oranges. So I'm going to go ahead and fish up my mangoes. And then I'm going to start working. Because I'm actually late. Especially for the texting portion of it. So yeah. Mmm. So juicy. I like my orange juice with a lot of ice. It should be ice cold. So I like my I like to put on a lot of ice. So that it's a lot of ice. 
that's how I love my orange juice. Mm. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all later or something. I don't know. Maybe I end it here. I don't know. Mm.